what is up guys come back to my channel my name is Hintura today we are going to continue our series of Python tutorials so previously we learned that what were conditional statements what are loops and what are modules in Python so now let's move on to our today's topics so today's topics we will be learning the play sound total and multiprocessing modules so these three modules are uh, kind of similar for making a game or something like that so play sound module technically uh, is for playing song files and then in total module you have you can make animation that is via application animation or then you can do is uh, making a game by keyboard controls not the controller controls and then with multiprocessing module you can run both at the same time Today we are going to see how we can do this and let's get right into the video. So now let's go with the play sound module. So what is the play sound module? The play sound module is a module that plays sound files as I said. For example, uh, let's say file name dot wave or something like that. So the syntax of python, no sorry, the syntax of play sound is simple. You first import play sound from play sound. This means that you import a place on function or class from the module place on. So then we type place on in parenthesis in double quotation marks. We write the file name dot extension. Doesn't matter whatever extension you have, it's supported with MP3, Wave, and Org, and all other kinds of extensions. Now let's move on to our IDE so now I am on my desktop over here I am gonna click on the menu and type IDE I got the IDE I am gonna click enter and open the IDE in my laptop so it might take a while never mind it just open right now so I am gonna just press ctrl n and make a new file now here I'm going to do is from play sound import play sound. So now before you do anything else, save the file. Of course, uh, I'm going to save it in my desktop in my Python Studio folder as play sound underscore module. So now before we go into the functions or the play sound playing sound files you have to open the terminal in the terminal or your command prompt you have to type pip3 install play sound so this is not a with the python installer module it comes externally from pypi.org you can check that site out there are many hundreds of packages available on the site you just have to type that's the uh, let's say if we say it in simple words it's the uh, authenticated pa python packages files now we can use this as play sound uh, let's say i have a name called uh, background sound dot wave Now let's move on to the turtle module. So basically the turtle module is a module that is that can be used for making 2D simple games and animation. Now you might ask why can't I use Pygame or any other stuff like that. So turtle module is easy and simple but there are some cons with the pros. The cons are that you don't get as much variety as you get in Pygame. Now let's get into our making of the game so now let's get to making the module or let's say our game or animation let's make a new file I made a new file already and I'm going to do is type in forge search now before we move on we should always as I told you
so as I told you always save the file before you do anything now the second step is to go in your terminal and type pip3 install turtle so what this does it cross checks if you have the turtle module on Linux and Mac OS users you don't have to do it but in Windows users you have to do it because sometimes uh, we have an optional while installing we have a optional uh, option optional to install modules that are inbuilt with the installer so you might have to run this but on Mac OS and Linux you don't have to because while installing Python you automatically get it now let's go ahead and make a screen now before I make the screen I have to do is from turtle import asterisk now what this does it uh, imports all the classes and functions from turtle that is the module file now when it was import turtle I would have to write turtle dot screen but now that I imported with the asterisk I can just type screen that's as simple now let's say let's just run this as you can see it gave us a screen in front of us now this screen can be can do many things like animation or then controlling the turtles now what are turtles I as I said now I will tell you guys uh, on the later of this video let's just complete with the turtle of screen function now if I want to make the window as my size according to my setup I can just or my preference you can just type the variable name, variable name of the screen with dot setup and then in parentheses you can type width I like the width as 900 and the height as 500 so now if I uh, sorry I, could, so I forgot to close the parenthesis so now if I run this the screen became a bit wider and shorter in height now let's say I want to uh, make the screen uh, let's say I want to make the screen's title on my own as I, as you guys saw it showed Python Turtle graphics but you can change it by typing wn.title uh, turtle module tutorial or anything you want that doesn't matter I'm gonna type that and if I see now it showed turtle module tutorial as the title and not Python to total graphics now let's go ahead and make the player so make the player you can just type player equals turtle that is with a capital T now if I save this and run this you can see a arrow heading to the right of the screen in the middle of the screen it is a black color and you can always change the color and the shape of the other. Let's say I want to change the shape to a triangle. I just type player dot shape and I type triangle. Now that we have this triangle as the shape, if I press F5, it gives us the triangle. That is pretty cool now if I go ahead and if I want the player to be of my own logo or any image you can just before we go ahead uh, I just wanted to remind you that whatever uh, image files you import into the turtle screens list you it always has to be a GIF video file now I, I have a GIF named logo.gif so I type wn dot add shape and I write it as logo.gif so now as you can see in the description add a turtle shape to the turtles screens shape list so now what this means that 
if you want to make the player as the logo then just type player dot shape in this fantasy you have to type the same name logo.dif now I save this and run this you can see that it is a my logo now let's move on to how can we change the color of the triangle or the default arrow my we type arrow it gave us the arrow kind of thing now how to change the color so player dot color in that you can type let's say blue or something like that and remember all these texts are in string format that is in the parenthesis they all have to be in double quotation marks or single quotation marks anything works fine now if I do this you can see that the arrow is of blue color now I want to move the player forward by 200 pixels but not without a key it automatically loads so forward in this you type 200 now what this will do it will automatically shift the turtle that is our shape arrow 200 pixels to the right because it's pointing at the right direction now I'm going to save this as you can see it drew a line with it as well so to remove the line you can always type player dot pen up now what this will do it won't draw a line as you can see over there now if I want the turtle to draw a line after it went ahead you can just do per turtle pe player that is our turtle pen down now if you save this and go ahead it do no line but it had the pin pen down works function now this was running it from the ideally now many people usually don't use let's say ideally for running the program they directly use the command prompt on the terminal or else they use the exe files that you have created so to do that if i just go ahead and in my folder that is desktop slash python tutorials and in here you if i type python 3 space church uh, underscore animation dot py and run this it will appear the screen for a minute and go away it completed the command and went away straight away then kept the screen now to keep the screen you can type wn dot main loop so it what this does it keeps the code running until you close the program now if I go in here and run this again as you can see it is still running and if I just press Alt F4 that is closing the program it automatically stops good now let's go ahead and make the player that is our turtle listen to some keyboard commands so before we move on to interpreting the keyboard to the to the system First, we have to define some functions to call those while we press these keys. Now, if I want the forward function, I just type player dot forward. I say one, ten, thirteen. Now, this won't do anything. It went two hundred pixels ahead. Now, I'm gonna just go ahead and delete this now if and I'm going to set the shape as my logo if as I have added it now we are going to make the backward function that is yeah I'm, I'm making short form but you can do whatever you want You can set the backward and forward parameters to 100, 10, whatever you want. I am setting it to 10 because
because it's just simpler to use and now turn underscore left so clear dot turn no, wait, left I'm gonna say so nine or let's say ten one one sec and now def turn underscore right I'm gonna say it as clear dot right ten. Now let's make another function def drawing to make the turtle draw or not. Clear dot pen down. So now these are simple commands. We are assuming that the player have has not already kept the pen down but if if the player has already done it as down then there are special codes that are used for that but we are not going into depth of that we'll go on the depth of that later now to interpret the keyboard to the program we have to type wn dot listen in here if you type wn dot on key press and First you have to type the function and then the key. So the function we are going to do as for WD and we're gonna do it as W. Remember always use spawn W but sometimes if you leave the caps lock on and just forget it, it actually won't run the program. So for those uh you have to do is this. You have to type both the cases lower and upper. So that is hectic, but you have to do it because it's not as intelligent as our other our other programming languages. So our other programs. I'm going to keep it simple without caps lock. Keep press. Let us just first of all copy this So now if I'm going to do this as left that is E Right as D And draw as let's say C uh, Let's go ahead and change the function as well I'm going to set the function as turn underscore left and turn underscore right and this is going to be drawing so now let's go ahead and run this so if I press W it goes ahead So you don't get to know the direction because it's just a loop. But if you change, if you just remove this, uh, I'm going to just comment out this region. And if I run this, it will show what direction your arrow is going to go. So it's going to go up. Now if I press C in here, and then go 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10 like that. As you can see, I am drawing a circle or a oval. Uh, it's a balloon, let's say. <laughs> but what did this did? It's automatically calculating the commands and doing it. But it's not doing multiple commands for the same. I am pressing two keys, but it's not doing any of these. So there is no measure for this. Now let's move on to our multiprocessing one. So now what is the multiprocessing module? It is a module that is used to run multiple processes at the same time as I said earlier. So 
Multiprocessing module, as the name says, it is used to run multiple processes. That is another files or the same file with different functions. So there are many modules like threading, but this is very simple to use. And unless threading module, because when you use threading module, it stops the script and wait for the other script to finish. Now in the syntax it's simple import multiprocessing p1 equals multiprocessing dot process in parentheses type target as the command and args in parentheses you have to type any args if there are any for the function and then you just type p1 dot start that is to start the function so now to actually make this module work, we have another module for Mac OS and Linux, but for Windows, it's just import multiprocessing, but for Mac and all Mac and Linux, it's just multiprocess. Don't worry, it's not going to make any difference, but you have to install it from the terminal, both Windows and Linux Mac OS users. So that is about the multiprocessing module not about but how to import it now let's say i make a multiprocess dot process but i don't have any target so i do is target equals let's say print underscore hello I'm gonna make that in a second. Comma, no, not comma. Args is the optional function or optional key, uh, keyword. Yes, keyword is more better. If I do is print underscore hello world, hello, and just go ahead and print hello. Let's say I want to print it 10 times. So I'm going to save this as multi processing underscore module. And now if I go ahead and do for i in range 10. So if you don't remember what is a for loop, go take out the previous video and then come back to this video to get a better idea of what we are doing here but if i do it like this it's not going to do anything and you can see that first if i do it as p1 is equal to and then do p1 dot start open actual fantasies and run it it doesn't do anything but now how to run this then right here and go to the CD of that now uh, if I type python 3 space multi processing underscore module dot py it printed hello a uh, 10 times let's but why did it fit in the ideally? So ideally does not treat this multiprocess or multiprocessing module. I hope that it works in your Windows and Mac OS, but in Linux it won't print it at all. So you have to run it from the terminal. And it's always most useful to run it from terminal than using the shell because most of the main commands run in the terminal and not in the shell now let's use both our script that is a play sound and our turtle animation files so how can we do this so if i go above the importation of the module dev app and just keep it as that and shift sorry, shift control and tap now what this did it defined it into a, a function now how to run this function in another file this is probably 
the most useful way of organizing your data. Now if I want this play sound file to run in my master processing module, I just do is import play sound underscore module. And that's it. Now as we import other modules like multi processing and turtle and play sound, it's the same like that. So now if I have print hello as a play I'm gonna do it as as play. So what this does it imports it in under the name of play so you don't have to write the big names of the module. So I write play dot app. So now it should run it perfectly. So now if I run this it won't find it because I have mistaken the name it's capital P and not small p so that's what makes Python case sensitive so it depends on whether you write in caps or small it is dependent on that so if you type like I did it didn't work now it should work but it won't run in the ideal shell because as I said earlier it does not help multi process money. So now as you can hear the music in the background. I can't stop this music. So for stopping it you have to go ahead in your task manager system monitor or whatever or Mac OS I don't know and go search for Python and stop this and this process. Uh, there are many processes running right now. But I I am sorry. Yeah now it stop. See there are many instances that are running of Python so you have to be careful with that. Now I'm not going to close the ID any one because it's running this as well. Now uh, let's say you want to stop this. Well you can't actually stop this but let's say I want to import the turtle module as well. So if I go in my turtle mod animation folder and just press tab above the from import folder I type def app again that doesn't matter in which file you are typing the app, but it should be only once in every file. It doesn't matter if you type in multiple files. So now if I do is import turtle underscore animation as turtle or whatever you want and just type over here print hello and instead of this play I'm gonna make it as Touch. Now if I run this, it gave us an invalid syntax. So what is that mean? So I never gave a colon over here. That's what makes the difference between a function and an error. Uh, so for this you can just go X. So the reason it gave me an error was that you have to import all before the function definition you can't import inside a function definition. So it didn't run as I thought it wouldn't. So now I'm gonna open it over here open in terminal and if I type python3 space uh, multi processing underscore module dot pi it runs I guess it runs perfectly fine and 
and I want to make a oval like so or is it actually an oval? Uh, I don't know and I'm gonna just so you can basically do anything with these modules now before we end our video I would like to show you one more important feature now if I want to exit the program on key press of X it should be quit and not exit because if we go ahead and press exit type exit it quits all the running files so now it's running only one file so now if I want to run many of these I let's say def play I'm gonna do it song and before we continue to actually run our code I'm going to go ahead in system monitor and close all the running Python C commands so that it's better to actually you know use it uh, now if I run if I I'm not going to run this inside this and if it even runs it it's not going to work so I'm going to do is p2 is equal to multi process dot process target is equal to play song and now I do is p2 dot start now it should start both of them but no it won't in this but it started all of these so I'm gonna just end these processes real quick now I'm going to run this from the IDA as you can hear the sound of this and I can So now as you can hear, it's still running the module. So to stop it, you have to literally use the system monitor because there's no other way to kill the process. Now, I would like to end this video right over here. Meet you guys in the next one. And till that time, goodbye, have a safe day.